Hello everyone. So in this lecture, I am going to take a small topic from the probability section that is odds for and against the event. Clear? Now, uh, very easy and intuitive topic. But if I'll take one example, you will understand it in five minutes. Trust me, it's so small and so easy. First of all, I'll give you the basic grounding of the topic odds for okay where you want that what is the probability of the event to occur divided by what is the probability of the event not occurring clear what is odd against the event it is the ratio of the probability of not occurring where i want that what is the probability that event will not occur divided by the event will occur clear so this is odds for where occurring is in the numerator and odds against where not occurring is in the numerator clear i'll take one example and you will understand it very small concept clear okay so first of all i'm taking a very simple example that is the roll of a dice roll of a dice clear now you know that we have one two three four five and six clear suppose i want to know that what is the probability of getting four it is going to be one by six what is the probability of not getting 4? It is going to be 5 by 6. Clear? So, 1 by 6, how much? If I will write that in terms of uh, decimals, it is 0 0.16. 0 0.16. Clear? And 1 minus 0 0.16. 0 0.84. This is the probability of not having 4. And this is the probability of getting the 4 when you roll a dice. Clear? So now you will have to calculate two things. One is odds for the event and another one is odds against the event. Clear? Now when I am saying odds for the event, this means that what is the probability that you will get 4? You will get 4. See over here the event is getting the 4. Okay. Over here also event is that you will get 4 divided by what is the probability you will not get 4. So it's going to be very simple 0 0.16 divided by 0 0.84. How much it is? 0 0.16 divided by 0 0.84. 0 0.19 or approximately you can say 2 or approximately you can say 2 because if I take this value like this, okay, this would have been equals to to clear sorry 0 0.2 okay the value is going to be 0 0.2 or can i write 0 0.2 like this 1 divided by 5 can i write in terms of ratio 1 ratio 5 1 ratio 5 5 that means there is a uh, one fifth probability that you will get 4 okay there is one fifth probability that you will get 4 out of the probability of not getting 4 basically there is a ratio between the occurring of the event and not occurrence of the event clear now odds against the event that means in the numerator it is that what is the probability of not getting the force 0 0.833 and what is the probability of the event to occur 0 0.1667 clear this time you will get 5 so can you write 5 by 1 can i write 5 ratio 1 yes they all means the same this is how we calculate odds for the event and odds against the event clear so in short if i want to say that odds for getting the 4 okay it is 1 ratio 5 clear and odds against the event it will inverse 5 ratio 1 clear so in this example basically what we have done we have the probability and we have calculated odds for and odds against the event clear what if they will provide you the value of odds for and odds against and you have to calculate the probability clear so we are going to check that as well clear okay so over here i have noted down one example so that uh, you can see that how to calculate the probability when odds for and odds against are given to you clear so you have a football match and there are two teams a and b clear the odds for winning the team a is 2 ratio 1 okay that team a will win team a will win what is the ratio 2 ratio 1 clear so how would i have uh, got this number 2 ratio 1 that team a bracket it will win 
सो द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए विनिंग द मैच डिवाइडेड बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए लूजिंग द मैच क्लियर एंड व्हाट इज द रेशियो व्हाट इज द आंसर ओवर हियर इट इज 2 व्हिच इज इक्वल्स टू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए विनिंग द मैच एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बी लूजिंग द मैच क्लियर दिस इज हाउ डेफिनेटली यू वुड हैव गॉट द आंसर नाउ व्हाई odds against them winning okay means losing the match okay once you will lose the match that means the value is going to be 1 divided by 2 is equals to probability of a losing the match divided by probability of a winning the match clear hopefully you are clear with these uh, two terms over here now you want to calculate that what is the probability that team a is going to win the match clear that you have to calculate so for that we are going to use this formula clear first of all uh, what is the team a winning clear and what is the odds for this two ratio one what is the odds for the event that a is going to win the match what is the odds for the event two ratio one so we are going to use that ratio clear so what is the probability that team a is going to win which is equal to odds for the winning odds for the winning how much two odds for the winning how much is the value 2 divided by odds for winning plus odds against odds for winning plus odds against that we have to calculate so from this you will get odds for winning 2 clear and what is odds against this one odds against 1 so your equation is 2 that is odds for winning divided by odds for winning plus odds against that is 1 that means 2 divided by 3 So what is the probability of a team A winning? Approximately sixty-seven percent. Then what is the probability of team A losing? Approximately thirty-three percent. So if you divide them, sixty-seven divided by thirty-three, somewhere you will get the number close to two, and this is your answer: two ratio one. Are you clear with the understanding that how to convert the odds in terms of probability? And earlier we have done the example how to convert probability into odds. similarly if you want to calculate the probability of team a losing okay at that time what you will do you will use odds against them winning that is your one ratio to clear so in the numerator what will come one and in the de denominator what it will come one plus two that is one divided by three which is equals to zero point three three or thirty three percent clear so this is how we do the concept of odds for the event and odds against the event topic is very intuitive very small easy to understand you will not face any type of issue in this clear